Big big fish yeah. surface, and I think it's because they've been hooked before, you know, and they know yeah. that they're gonna wear you down. Yeah, I don't think he's that big. But good fish. Hey, it's a good fish. Start. Way to break the ice. Yeah. We have no complaints yet. Absolutely not. Take it with my stuff. James River today with a good friend, Trey Thorpe. Captain. Captain. I keep forgetting that. If uh, since he said that, in the description I'll leave his information for his guide service. Uh, he's been guiding down here for a couple years. He is uh, part of Big Cat Fever and and Catfish and uh, who else you promote? Oh, uh, Slime Line. Slime and Line. Hooker's Terminal Tackle. Yep, Hooker's Terminal Tackle. So there you go. Nice way to start the day. We'll get him back and see if we can't put a bigger than a boat. And she's down. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, that's a little better, huh? I think it's about the same. Oh. Stay tuned, this one over here goes down. It's gonna be a new boat 
would be the absolute worst conditions you could expect. They're biting somewhere. I, I tell people that all the time. You gotta go to, you gotta find out. Yeah, you, you're not gonna catch it from the couch. And I just, I honestly believe it. Unless, so, unless you have a sea arc easy, easy cat. cat. Then you can catch it from the couch. I've seen that happen. <laughs> but yeah, just this river is so, so big and there's so many, it's, it's, there's so many options. The fish are chewing somewhere. It's just a matter of getting. Just like me, I'm gonna eat something somewhere. We just gotta find one that's about your size. Oh, that'd be nice. I'm trying to say, Trey, that you'd make a good catfish. Hooked up again, made a little change. Things have been super tough, super slow, but I don't think we need that. Oh, you're just gonna lift them? Well, unless he grows up real big. Hey, never underestimate <laughs> your fish, man. Shallow water, I think, could just be toying with you. Yeah, that's for sure. Trying to be a idiot at the boat. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> Shallow water fish, man, they do go everywhere. They yes. will go wherever they want to, run at the boat, run away from the boat. Yeah, we was He's getting a little more bent to them, but we'll see. We was, earlier we was fishing that mud flat, or not mud flat, but ledge, and we decided to come up here on the flat. Let's see what we can get a hold of, and we, we caught one pretty quick. James River monster, but hey, he will be one day. Absolutely, he's he's a fish that spawns. You can see that on top of his head. See that mark right there on the point that mark, so they can see it. This scar, all these are scars. Yep. And realistically, this year was probably his first year spawning, or her first yeah. year spawning. That's a good sign. I love seeing these fish spawn out. We'll get him back. That's the size of the fish. That was that's about the size of the fish that we're trying to protect to preserve next generation of the jumper and you know, the next generation monster. That's a good that's a good point. Yeah, that's and, a good and, thing. And that's that's what uh, with the electro fishing and stuff they're trying to implement. That's one of our things that we're trying to get across to Virginia Marine Commission is hey, these fish are gonna be the big ones next year. Or you know, ne eventually. They're the next generation of big fish. And if we take them all out the river, you don't have nothing. You know, so it's, well, it's just one of the things. It's a selective harvest is super, super helpful for sustaining the population and managing a trophy fishery, but we all have to practice. That's right. Uh, so. That's why I preach CPR. I know uh, you know fishing with cat uh, fishing with fat guy service, they do you guys do selective harvest? I give them the option of keeping stuff under 10 pounds, but 10 pounds. we don't a target fish under 10 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Try not to anyway, yeah, yeah, right? I mean, sometimes a, big, a little one will take a big bait, but we do our best to limit catching the small ones. But if somebody says, hey, I'd like to catch cooler full of eaters. That's what you do. If that's what you want, I'll put some small hooks on and we'll go catch cooler full of eaters. Well, that'd work. Well, hey folks, the wind is picking up. We only had about half a day to try to get, get out here, get you guys some information. And 
man it's been it's been kind of tough today i ain't gonna lie it's been kind of tough with that cold front coming in but caught some good fish had a good time trey i appreciate you coming out here with me today yes, sir i appreciate you having hey, me folks if you get a chance make sure you take a kid out hunting or fishing get them outside take them down here to the james river give trey a call fishing with fat guide service i'll leave all of his information in my description down below if you enjoy everything that we're putting out, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button, subscribe. Two thumbs. Yeah. Two thumbs up. And if you get a chance, go over. He also has a YouTube channel called Fishing with Fat on YouTube. So go over, subscribe, do all that good stuff, share. And until next time, tight lines, and we will catch you on the water.